Morgan and James Franco here, they're stars of the new animated and may I add R-rated movie, Sausage Party. <laughs> this is for adults only, okay? It's about a bunch of supermarket foods who think paradise awaits when someone buys them. But they find out the ugly truth about what lies outside the grocery store doors. Take a look. You know, from here, it seems like the best route is probably to go through the liquor aisle. So, uh, shall we? What? It kind of seems out of the way. Are you sure? Yeah, totally sure. Okay, because the way you're saying it doesn't sound like you're too confident. Oh, uh, n uh, yeah, trust me. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Can I just say, guys, that is honestly the only 19 seconds we could find that could be aired on this it's, show. That clip is in no way indicative of what the movie is about. No. What happens. I mean, I don't even see. Just the, the title, only moments <laughs> Sausage the Party, makes me feel embarrassed. That's our goal, is to humiliate you oh, in your job. <laughs> good, good. So, um, Seth, you play a hot dog. I do. Why don't you tell us the premise after that? Because you're not allowed to, I would imagine. <laughs> uh, it's about food in a grocery store, like you said, who thinks that something good happens uh, when it's purchased and ultimately... Obviously, something terrible happens, and one hot dog kind of uh, has a journey wherein he tries to illuminate the store um, into the reality of what happens. Meanwhile, there's another hot dog that's kind of out in the world that encounters James Franco's character, uh, who is who is just named Druggy. Yeah, exactly. like, I'm one of the only humans. I yeah. didn't get to play food. In but your one. character's no. name is Druggy. Yes. Which yes. leads me to the question: Who's the target audience here for this movie. It's <laughs> not, not children, yeah. I would say. I really think it's for everyone. Honestly, yeah. it's been so far much better received than you would think a movie <laughs> about a talking hot dog would be. Um, it we really put a lot of thought into this movie, honestly. It was inspired by our love of Pixar movies and animation. Yeah. Um, it has a lot of, I think, surprisingly deep ideas in it. Again, considering it's essentially talking phalluses for 90 minutes. <laughs> but I think uh, beyond that, I actually think people will be surprised at how much heart there is in the movie and how there's actually like a lot of theological thought that went into the movie. But if you bring your kids to it, you are a bad parent. Yeah, okay, that, good. Think, in no way, we made that so clear. I, I think it's the best movie Seth and the gang has ever made. Really? Yeah. I, 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 well, I actually I, I think, was... it, I, I told one of his producers, I think it might be the best movie ever made. <laughs> well, I, I would say just for the sheer number of hot dog double entendres, There's I mean, that about, was incredibly yeah. impressive. Exactly. If there were a gold medal. If there were a triple entendre, we would have done it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that, again, we put a lot into it. I really think it's a genuinely funny movie and... Um, you know, people are so fascinated by the secret life of the objects and things that surround them that the secret life of food is just so such an obvious arena to go down. It's fine. Um, it makes sense why a kid's movie wouldn't explore that because it's quite horrific what happens to food. <laughs> when you really put it yes, that way. But that's why we tackled that subject. Now later. listen, you two, let's talk about your relationship. Why don't and we? as we do, roll the video, please. <laughs> why do you think it works? Oh, gosh. Hey, look at uh, us. I think I, we met when Seth was so young and impressionable. Exactly. He really he scooped me up. It, it was a, I was underage. He was a very alluring older man. I didn't know what hit me. He was, in, love. he was inviting me on fancy dinners, all these things. I never. It was like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, I can't say I didn't invite that. Yes, exactly. Do you have any? I, I, we love that parody of the Kanye and Kim video. Yes. First of all, I mean, did you fight over who got to be Kim and who got to be Kanye? I think originally. It was the other way originally. Yeah. Oh. I was going to be Kim and Seth had an epiphany. and I just, we switched it <laughs> in the last minute. It's yes. not the first time we've switched roles to fantastic effects. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else in the works that we could look forward to like this? Uh, we just actually made another movie that I uh, produced with Franco and that he directed um, and that I also act in. And it's about the making of a movie called The Room, which is known oh. for being the worst movie ever made <laughs> and um, we chronicle the story about the people who made that movie. Okay. Yes. Before I let you go, you, you ex executive produce a series called Preacher. I do. Just coming up. And you are in a movie, is it a about show. porn? 
It's a HBO show. Okay, because yeah. I see the mustache, right. and that yes. made me think you we should me explain it. <laughs> 70s, 1970s glory. Right it looks good. <laughs> Seth and James, always fun to have you here. Thanks for having us. The movie is called Sausage, Sausage Party. Party. <laughs> you can't even theaters say it. nationwide on August 12th. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.